What's up everyone, Listen Up Studios here doing another Mo2 Mach 5.3 tutorial. A lot of questions were asked on how to assign a single sample to multiple key groups. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's real quick, simple, and easy. Okay, first thing you want to do is grab a sample of your choice and slide it and drop it right into the main menu here. And you'll notice down at the bottom, key group one, it's spread across the whole entire keyboard that you have, and you can play it. You read the Bible, Greg. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's this pass. And just to let you know, the red signifies the actual uh, pitch that it's in and the speed, um, whatever the sample it reads at originally recorded, that's exactly what it is. Now you can move up. You read the Bible, Greg. You can move down. That's entirely up to you. So you can adjust your first sample uh, to any way you want. Ezekiel 25. What you want to do is grab the little tabs, the start and end. Uh, and, sl and slide them over to whatever liking or adjusting you want. For those that are familiar uh, with this, it's similar to BPM, Motu BPM. So for those that have Motu BPM, will have no problem catching on to this. And what I just did was slide over the length uh, for a whole octave that where I want this little sample to be at. Now I can range it to anywhere Ezekiel 20 Ezekiel 20 Ezekiel 20 Ezekiel 25 17 Ezekiel 25 7 and if I want some deeper notes Ezekiel 20 you can do that that's entirely up to you and you can move them anywhere you want so and then to create the next key group you would right click and you can do copy or you can do uh, apply a new key group, um, you know, right down here. Uh, it's entirely up to you, me. I'll just do copy real quick to show you guys this. And then you can paste the selected key group and it doubled it up. And then you can stretch that out. And if you notice, it, it copied and mimicked the first key group because that was my uh, choice and you can adjust it to however you want blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill and I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and fury so you kind of understand how to get multiple key groups. So then you can flip back and forth. So that's entirely up to you on how you want to do your own uh, samples and breakdown of your sample. And then keep in mind, this is just the first layer. Now, if you want to fix anything, you would go into the slices and you can adjust the speed. <laughs> Stop it. And you can go back and it will have that speed already, you know, inputted. And then of course, you know, down below with the key groups, you can do filters and all this. Um, however you want with each individual key groups. Now you can have key group one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want, that's entirely up to you. Um, but I just started, I did the copy and paste. Obviously, if you did the right click and the new key group, you would have key group number two and whatnot. But this is basically the overall on how you would uh, split up a sample. Say if you want across uh, your MPD pads or even across a MIDI controller keyboard, this is how you would do it. And if you wanted to layer another one, you can add another layer with something completely different. Okay, so this is how you would uh, assign a sample to multiple key groups uh, throughout your MIDI controller or 
your pad controller, whatever you're using to control your, your music beats or whatever you're trying to do. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've created some videos. Um, I got a lot of stuff in the works, so you're going to see a lot, of more, lot more of Motu videos coming very shortly. Um, so if you have any questions in the meantime, um, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can ask me a lot of questions through Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook. Um, but of course, for those that know what forums I'm at, you know, I'm here. You know where to find me.